A former assistant to ex-President Donald Trump has disclosed to federal investigators that Trump frequently composed to-do lists for her on White House documents labeled classified. Molly Michael, the former aide, said that she received multiple requests or assignments from Trump, written on the backs of note cards, which she later recognized as sensitive White House materials bearing visible classification markings, News.com has learned. These materials were used to brief Trump during his tenure in office on topics such as phone calls with foreign leaders and other international affairs. Although FBI agents discovered note cards with classification markings at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate during a search on August 8, 2022, sources suggest that these materials were not seized by the FBI, according to information provided by Michael to investigators. Upon returning to Mar-a-Lago the following day to tidy her office space, Michael located the documents beneath a drawer organizer and promptly handed them over to the FBI, according to ABC News. In addition to this revelation, Michael expressed growing concerns to federal investigators regarding Trump's handling of recurring requests from the National Archives to return all government documents stored in boxes at Mar-a-Lago. She believed that Trump's claims regarding the boxes could be easily disproven. When Trump learned of the FBI's interest in interviewing Michael, he allegedly told her, you don't know anything about the boxes, although the exact meaning of this statement remains unclear. In 2018, Michael assumed the role of Trump's executive assistant in the White House, and she continued to work for him after his departure from office. However, she resigned amid Trump's alleged refusal to comply with federal requests and the subsequent FBI search of Mar-a-Lago. In June, Trump pleaded not guilty to 37 criminal charges related to his handling of classified materials, alleging that he repeatedly refused to return hundreds of classified documents, including U.S. nuclear secrets and national defense information. Trump vehemently denied all charges, labeling the investigation a political witch hunt. As previously reported, Michael is believed to be the individual referred to as Trump Employee 2 in special counsel Jack Smith's indictment. She was described as handling many of Trump's White House era boxes at Mar-a-Lago and providing Trump with photos of these boxes, which were included in the indictment. Michael's statements to investigators provide further insight into the extensive evidence Smith has gathered to support his case against Trump. A spokesperson for Trump asserted that the information shared through what the spokesperson called illegal leaks lacks proper context and relevant information. The spokesperson maintained that President Trump did nothing wrong, has always insisted on truth and transparency, and acted in accordance with the law. Despite mounting evidence in various cases, Trump maintains that he is not concerned about the legal proceedings against him. He recently told NBC News that he may have to consider a self-pardon if re-elected but expressed doubt that such a situation would arise. In a new poll reported on September 19, it claimed Trump would beat current President Joe Biden if the 2024 election were held today.